Hello there, it's your favorite mentored physician, advocate, and coach. Today on Finding Optimal Wellness with Dr. May, I will be speaking about the need for self-care. What are your self-care needs? What do you do on a day-to-day -day basis to optimize your, the care for yourself? Do you even have one? Or you've never really thought about it? Self-care is self-preservation. And self-care does not necessarily mean me first. It means me too, because you are also important. Self-care is very integral to our holistic awareness, productivity, boost relationship, interpersonal connection. And the need for self-care is so integral to our 360-degree wellness because we want to operate from a place of abundance as against a place of deficit. Today, we'll be narrowing it down to the acronym of the word self-care. The S is self, no, self-awareness. Before you even start practicing self-care, it's important to know yourself. What are your stressors? What are your triggers? By knowing these, you can then begin to manage them even eliminate some, and you may even find out that there were some that were never really necessary or there were never issues in the first place. The E is for exercise. I will never stop talking about the importance of exercise. When you exercise, it will you know, boost your feel-good hormones, the endorphins especially, and to help you, you know, manage your stress, reduce anxiety, you know, manage fear, and of course, mild cases of depression and an array of other physical health challenges. The L is limit exposure to excessive news and social media. You know, every time you come on news these days, you find out that there's one issue there, you know, somebody is dying, a hurricane, a lot. And some of these things impact on us negatively. We are not saying that you shouldn't listen to news or go on social media, but let everything be in moderation. Limit your exposure. If you notice there are some certain um, social media platforms that are not good for your sanity, feel free to uninstall them from time to time. It's called social media detox. Mute notifications. There are some groups that are not good for you. You can exit and be unapologetic about who you are. We talked about the S. The E, the L, and now the F. F is find and engage in pleasurable activities. Activities like hobbies, gardening, singing, learning a new language, anything that you feel that will be good for you, find and engage in that. C is connect. Connect with a healthy support system. Don't just connect with everybody, but a healthy support system. People that will be there for you through thick and thin, people that have got your back. It could be your biological family, it could be friends and colleagues. Whatever it is, connect with a healthy support system for better socialization. The A is ask for help. Asking for help is never a sign of weakness, but a sign of strength. Ask for help when and if you need to. Never you see it as a burden. We all need help. In fact, we are all a work in progress. The R is rest and sleep. There is no award or accolades for the busiest person on earth. Try as much as possible to create time to rest and sleep and stop giving excuses. You sleep, you rest, it helps you to be more productive. The last but not the least is eating right. Eat right not only to stay alive but also to boost your immunity. Keep fit. Make sure your plate looks colorful from the greens to the orange to the red. So ensure fruits and vegetables fats, carbs, protein, oil. Don't focus on one part. You know, there's that myth that if you want to lose weight, take only protein. No, you need everything but in moderation. It's key that we emphasize on self-care and I would keep letting each and every one of us know that self-care is part of our holistic awareness. Until next time, Remember, it's a bad day, not a bad life. Live intentionally.